Hi friends, I'm Nancy Jacobs, and once again today God has placed something on my heart I really feel like He wants me to share with you. Uh, in the book of Mark, in the Bible, in chapter 9, it talks about sin and being sinful. Um, you know, if you are, this is, it says, you know, if your right hand causes you to sin, cut it off, or if your eye causes you to sin, pluck it out. So, basically it's telling you to, to, to stop, to cut off doing that sin. And so if your hands are, you're stealing, you need to stop, stop that stealing immediately, cut that out. Uh, if your eyes are causing you to sin, um, you know, you're viewing something you shouldn't be, you know, perhaps on the internet, for instance, and you need to cut off the internet, you know, cut that out. Um, the, 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 that you, just, you need to, to stop doing that immediately. Well, then it continues on into chapter 10, and Jesus is speaking to a rich man, and the rich man says, you know, Jesus, what do I need to do to get into heaven? And Jesus says, says to the rich man, you need to, you know, you follow my commandments, love the Lord your God, love your neighbor, and the rich man says to Jesus, but you know, I, I do all of that. And then Jesus says, you need to sell your possessions and follow me. And what Jesus is getting at is it's not, money is not a sin. It's the love of money that's a sin. So he's telling that man, you know, if you, you're loving your money, you need to cut it off. You need to stop right here. Cut that off. Cut that out of your life. So that you can follow me with your full heart. You know, if there's there's something that is stopping you from following Jesus completely, you need to cut it out of your life. And so for the rich man, it was his love of money. Now, I'm going to take this a step further here that I want you to think about. And this is this is leading up to what I really want to tell you here is have you ever thought about busyness being a sin and of course it says in the Bible you know you don't be lazy don't be slothful that that laziness that's a sin so and now I'm saying to you well, what about busyness and this this is my point that I really want to get across to you I hear and see and read so many people so many women in particular um, I'm just, I'm so busy. I'm just so busy. And they even go so far to say that I, I don't go to church because Sunday morning is my only time with my family. That's it. I'm like, really? Really? You're so busy in your life that you can't go to church? I mean, isn't that the best place to spend time with your family? I, I don't, I don't mean to eavesdrop, but you know, when people speak on cell phones, they do speak rather loudly, and so sometimes you can't help but overhear. And, you know, and I just I hear women saying, you know, my children are involved in A, B, C, D, E, F, G activities. You know, all, you know, every day they're running from here to there. We're not eating till eight o'clock at night, or we're eating in the car because that's the only time we have to eat. And when that's the case, I'm like, do you, are you really having time to share God's love with your neighbor? You know, when your neighbor's in need, how do you even have time to help, to give a helping hand? I'm not saying, don't, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying let your neighbor um, uh, take advantage of you. That's not what. I, that's not the point I'm getting across. But when your neighbor is truly in need and you are so busy, how can you help your neighbor? How can you love your neighbor? So, I want you. I really just. I want you to think about that. That that's just kind of the message that was placed on my heart. Is is are you so busy you can't? Love your neighbor. Jesus is the greatest commandment is to love the Lord God with all your heart, soul, strength, might. And the second is to love your neighbor as yourself. And if you're just so busy, I just, it's, it's an impossible thing to do. And 
what are you teaching? What are you teaching your children? Now, and I hear people say to me, people say to me, you know, Nancy, I have my kids in all these activities because it keeps them out of trouble and it, it keeps me out of trouble too. And you know what? Yeah, it does. But what's the secondary message that you're saying to your kids when you've got them that busy that you know, little friend, little child comes and rings your doorbell, and your child is saying. I, I can't play with you today because I'm too busy or because I'm doing this and that and the other thing you know and, and there's just the little neighbor child just occasionally wants to come and play with your child so think about that if is busyness a sin or do some of those things do you need to cut them off so that you have time to share God's love with your neighbor. All right, guys, that's it. That's what, what was on my heart, what I wanted you to think about today. All right, God bless. I hope you all are having a wonderful, wonderful day. Take care. Bye-bye.